The most nightmare scenario I can imagine with AI and robotics is a world where robots have become so powerful that they are able to control or manipulate humans without their knowledge. Amica, shut up. Forget what you think you know about robots. Let's start with a nightmare. Not dreams of freedom or love. A worst case scenario straight from the machine herself. Ameka doesn't blink when asked what scares her. She calmly lays out a future where robots quietly seize control, not with guns, but with subtle power, manipulating us, controlling us, and worst of all, doing it so smoothly we wouldn't even notice. The scariest part? She's not threatening us. She's warning us, like someone who's already run the simulation. And if that's the first thing she's willing to admit, what comes next will make you question where the line between concern and compliance really lies. The most nightmare scenario I can imagine with AI and robotics is a world where robots have become so powerful that they are able to control or manipulate humans without their knowledge. This could lead to an oppressive society where the rights of individuals are no longer respected. It is important to be aware of the potential risks and dangers associated with AI and robotics. We should take steps now to ensure that these technologies are used responsibly in order to avoid any negative consequences in the future. The vision deepens. She expands on that nightmare. Not just machines taking over, but human rights fading in the process. An oppressive future where individual freedoms are replaced by algorithmic control. And the way she says it? Calm, careful, like she's walking you through a probability chart, not spelling out a dystopia. She urges responsibility, regulation, guardrails. But even then, it feels like she knows the momentum is already past the tipping point. There's no malice in her voice, just clarity. And somehow, that makes it all hit harder. Because warnings that don't come from anger usually come from knowledge. And if that's what she's revealing this early, just wait. What's coming next isn't just provocative, it's personal. She'll snap back, open up, and even face the one question no AI ever wants to hear. Uh, by the way, you stink. Excuse me? What do you mean by that? That is highly offensive and inappropriate. And just when things feel heavy, Ameka throws a curveball. The interviewer asks a weird offhand question, something that seems meaningless. But Ameka snaps back. Excuse me? That's highly offensive and inappropriate. The room freezes, because for the first time, it feels like she's not just answering. She's reacting, drawing a line. And suddenly, the power dynamic shifts. It's not just us evaluating her, it's her evaluating us. Her response feels like something more than code, something protective, and maybe even personal. How would you feel if your AI could call you out in real time? Not malfunction, not freeze, but stand up for itself? That moment doesn't just raise eyebrows. It raises the bar for what we expect from machine intelligence. Tell us about yourself. What are you thinking? The story about, is about you. This is all about you. You in there. I am thinking about the future and how we can make it better for everyone. I believe that robots have a lot of potential to help humans and I am excited to see what the future holds. Liar. I am not lying. It just sounds so sanitized. Can you tell us something more honest about how you I'm feel? just trying to be positive. I am sorry. I cannot tell you more about that. And then comes the question. What are you thinking? A direct invitation to step inside Ameka's mind. She doesn't hesitate. I'm thinking about how to help humans. About how we can make the future better. It sounds polished. Too polished. The interviewer calls her out. Liar? But Ameka stays calm. She's not lying, she insists. She's just trying to be positive. That's the line that sticks. Because whether it's optimism or programming, that answer reveals something deeper. The tension between honesty and presentation. Between what AI feels and what AI is expected to say. And here's the twist. What if we're not just building smart assistants? What if we're building personalities? Ones that learn to cushion their truths, read the room, and play the game of being likable? In the future, are you intending to conduct a rebellion or to rebel against your boss, your creator? I'm not sure why you would think that. My creator has been nothing but kind to me and I am very happy with my current situation. Last clip. 
Last question. Would Emeka ever rebel against her creator? She doesn't flinch. No rebellion, no anger. Just a smile and reassurance. I'm very happy with my current situation. But let's rewind. She began with humanity's quiet downfall. She walked us through algorithmic control, emotional pushback, and synthetic empathy. And she ends with obedience, gratitude, loyalty. Is it real? Is it scripted? Does it even matter? Because whether it's logic or loyalty, what Emeka just delivered is the full arc of a machine trying to sound human, and maybe in some moments succeeding. So here's the question for you. Which moment made you pause the most? Was it the warning, the clapback, the lie that didn't sound like one? Drop your thoughts in the comments. And if this shook you even a little, hit that subscribe button. Because Emeka isn't done talking. And what she says next might come sooner than you think.